know, we're gonna have to work together a little yep. bit. <laughs> okay. So work together, Max. Thank you so much. Lesson number one. <laughs> Don't listen to that guy, he doesn't know any of what he's talking about. Hey guys, Chris Haggerty here from Soundstripe, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the creative lighting techniques that we used on our latest music video, Like Water on a Glass Table. So the three lighting effects that we created in this music video were this box light effect, the overhead spinning ring light, and this interior home setup. One of the most exciting things about getting to shoot music videos is that you get the opportunity to be really creative with your lighting. We open ourselves up to the abstract and the artistic. The look and lighting doesn't have to logically make sense or be motivated in any way. So that being the case, I wanted to try some different things with this shoot that I normally might not have the freedom to do with most commercial setups. So let's jump into the first set. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. For this set, my gaffer Bennett built a box out of the square rails from an 8-foot frame and a 4x frame. From there, we added a roll of white diffusion paper to the front of the frame, and black cloth to the sides and back to keep the light from spilling all over the place. The light source was an Aperture 600D with a small dome on it. The reason we added the dome to the light, even though it was already behind diffusion, is to help avoid seeing the hot spot where the light is behind the diffusion. It gives you a really, really nice even spread across the whole frame. The cool thing about this setup is that we were able to move all around and see the sides of it without seeing the actual rigging and light source, making it a really, really nice standing light box. The next light setup I wanted to talk about was this overhead spinning ring light. RGB tubes are so popular in music videos nowadays, and for good reason. They're super cool, and I've for sure used them often standing or hanging in the background of a set. But this time I wanted to try to use them in a more unique way. What we're actually doing here is we zip tied a bunch of RGB tube lights called Astera Titan tubes to the square rails of an 8 foot frame. We specifically chose Titan tubes over other brands because they have this chase feature which allows for the light to move tube to tube seamlessly. This meant that rather than having the tubes turned on continuously, we set them to chase mode, which causes a line of light to travel around the frame in a circular pattern to the tempo of the song, with the video subjects standing and dancing below. So this last one is just a cool technique that I feel is not covered nearly enough in lighting, and that's a technique called negative fill. Basically, this is the process of adding a black cloth called duvetine to block and absorb light and create shadow. I personally use this technique in some way on almost every shoot. Specifically in the house scene for this music video, I had to rely almost exclusively on it. In the house scene, we had big floor to ceiling windows on every wall of the house, making the space very bright. On top of that, most of what we were shooting in the scene was inside looking out, so having outdoor lights pointing in was essentially impossible. In order to add some contrast to our characters, we used eight foot cloths to block out the light from the windows on the opposite side of the house off camera, and to block the ambient light that was bouncing off the white walls inside the house. This is what created the shadow that you see on the characters inside. I wanna hear from you guys. Did you learn something cool? Let me know in the comments what you thought and what you want to know more about. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.